Hello, in this video tutorial I will show you how to config logger uh, log4j in your Java application. First we need to create Maven project. Um, let's name it logger example. After that we need to add a new dependency uh, for our logger. Let's Google it. I'll, for example, log for J Maven. And in this site, you can choose first link, copy this dependency, and paste it. Uh, when we add a dependency with our logger, we can create uh, log4j XML configuration file uh, and place it in a, a resource folder. Uh, we should name it log4j2 XML. Uh, and here we can start our configuration. All configuration should start from uh, appenders and loggers. In appenders object we can define uh, which type of logger we want, for example in file or in console. So uh, let's start from console example. Uh, here we uh, should give a name for our logger. Uh, it can be uh, what you want, but I'll name it log to console. And uh, here should be a target, uh, which type of uh, console it will be. Uh, in uh, our example, it will be system out. Uh, after that, we should define pattern layout uh, and uh, we can create uh, a pattern for our logs. Uh, let's add just date mm, method from which uh, our log was executed log level and uh, class uh, for our logger message that we will uh, add in the method and a new line for uh, each log after configuration appender uh, that uh, output uh, in console uh, we should um, define loggers. Uh, this element consists in different uh, logger uh, elements. Uh, we should add root element and uh, the root should contain appender ref. Uh, this element defines a reference to element from appender section and uh, ref should be name or our appender log to console to verify how our logger works we need to create a class with name for example, uh, create here main method and uh, using log manager uh, create uh, instance uh, of object logger. We can use some method, for example, info to see how our logger works. Let's create 
uh, own exception. Mm -hmm. Just exception. And uh, add it also to our logger. Error log. And put it in this method. We can uh, run our class and see only uh, error level log. To see info log, we should change uh, level in our root let's start program and now we can see info log using a few appenders we can save our logs in few stream for example in file and in console uh, we should use file object and define name for it, file logger. Def uh, also, we should define uh, where our file will locate. For example, logs application log. Uh, and we can use pattern layout from our console appender. And uh, in the end, we should uh, create a pender ref for our file logger. And now we can test it. Here we can see application log with our information. That's all. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in comments.